Katie from the Parkland County Library and today we are going to be doing another STEAM activity. We are going to make robots. And now typically when I think about robots, I think of something really futuristic and really big, but we're actually making small robots. It actually fits in the palm of my hand and it is a Bristol bot. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our supplies ready. So you're going to need scissors, and then in your activity kit, you should have everything else you need. We have a pipe cleaner, glue dots, your toothbrush head, and then two different batteries. We have the vibrating motor and the small battery, and then two googly eyes. And we are ready to get started making our Bristol box. So the first step is to attach the battery and the vibrating motor to the toothbrush head. So we're going to take that. We're going to open up our small battery out of the package. And this is where our glue dots are going to come in. So you're going to take a glue dot at the front of your toothbrush. And I'm calling this the front, the part that's not, wouldn't normally be connected to the handle. And you are going to attach your battery to the front and you're going to make sure that the plus sign is on top. That is the positive side of the battery. You want to make sure that is on top. Then you're going to take another glue dot to attach the vibrating motor toward the back of your toothbrush head. And you're going to want to make sure that the wires are facing the front. So the motor is attached to the back of the toothbrush, but with the wires facing the front. And we're just gonna leave those alone for just a second. Because now it is time to go ahead and make the legs for our bristle bot. And these are going to help keep everything secure and stable. So what I do is just go ahead and cut the pipe cleaner in half. And then you're going to fit it over between the battery and the motor. And we're going to want to cut it again in just a second to size it. But I'm going to go ahead and get My bristle bot is going to have four legs and four feet. And I'm just going to kind of fold that over so I get an idea of what size to cut. And then I'll just cut some of the excess. And I'm just making straight lines that kind of flip out like feet. You can play around with what you want the legs to look like. You could do pipe cleaners, let you do a bunch of different stuff. You could have curly legs, you could have squiggly legs, you can have straight legs. This is your creation. I might need to trim that again but I'm just going to leave it for just a second while I go ahead and attach the eyes. And I'm going to use another glue dot for the eyes. And I'm going to put them on the edge of the front. So up here by the battery, I'm just going to kind of put my glue dot there. And then I'm going to put the two eyes along the side. So mine looks almost a little spider-like at this point. 
and I'm ready to continue shaping and sizing and making sure things work. Another thing you can do at this point is you can test your wires. So the trick to keeping your bristle bot moving is to have the blue, have one wire touching the top of the battery and one wire touching the bottom or the side of the wire at the same time. And you can help, you can use your pie planers to kind of help your battery stay in place. Your wires stay in place on the battery. You can also, if you're having a little bit of difficulty with this part, you are welcome to use a little piece of tape or a glue dot on this particular one that I made. I needed to use some tape to hold my wires in place. And the wires serve as your on off switch for your bristle bot. So removing the tape is gonna be like the on off. So I have my red wire in place touching the bottom of the battery. And then I have, I'm gonna put the blue wire. Okay, so once you get the wires in place, you will start to see movement on your bristle bot. <laughs> and so one thing that we're learning about science from these is that science is sometimes very exact and the wires have an exact place that they have to be to make the wire move. That's why you see some tape on this top wire just to hold it in place. And then the red wire is we're putting it in a spot so it hits the underneath of the battery. You want to have the wires be in opposite places. And there, you might have to play around just a little bit to make sure that you find the right spot. So I have found, you can see the eyes are moving. The motor is going and, and I think one issue here with our bristle bot is the legs are not really keeping it stable. So let me do some more experimenting with the legs to keep the Bristol bot moving and stable. Oop. Something that these wrote that these Bristol bots teach us is that science is all about experimentation and trial and error. Getting your wires in the exact right place might be a bit of a challenge. It's a little bit tricky. There is an exact spot that the wire is looking for. So play around with that for a little while, do some trial and error. And then another trial and error part is the legs. They are gonna help your bristle bot stay stable when it moves, but they also have an exact length that they need to be. So you might have to try a couple of different leg variations before you find the exact right one. Eventually though, your bristle bot will come together and you will be able to match the wires, kind of like an on switch to turn your Bristol bot on. It will then hopefully zoom around the table like this. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago when we did the roller coaster activity, we learned about kinetic energy and how kinetic energy is what kept the roller the cart moving down the roller coaster. That, that is exactly the same energy that's helping the, the bristle bot move. So we have kinetic energy, only this time instead of gravity initiating the kinetic energy, the batteries are forcing the kinetic energy to help the Bristol bot dance around your table. Yay! So thank you for joining me for today's STEM activity. I hope that your Bristol bot project is a success. I personally get a lot of joy out of just watching my Bristol bot dance around the table. I think it's super entertaining. But I have seen that people sometimes put a little bit of paint on the bristles 
and let the bristle bot run around and paint becoming an artist. So if that's something you want to try, you can do that as well. You can also, if you dream up something else that you want to see your Bristol Bot do, go ahead. And thank you for joining us. You can follow the Faulkner County Library YouTube channel or the SEL Youth Services Facebook page for more summer reading fun.